Well, this Saturday, you can shop and sip all in one place at a local curated vintage market. Joining us to tell us more about the event is Shonda and Liz, owners of Warehouse Vintage and founders of the Drunken Flea Market. Yay, Thanks for being with me, ladies. <laughs> now, you. before we get into the interview, you two ladies have a nickname. <laughs> <Okay>. Yes. <laughs> so I'm Shonda. And my name's Liz. And together we are Shiz. Yes. <laughs> it's a perfect nickname. It is. Well, I was telling like the Shiz is actually a dance, but we yeah. got to look it up. Maybe do a TikTok later. Definitely. <laughs> but, Definitely. Do it. But tell us a little bit about Warehouse Kentucky yeah. and how that got started and the yeah. drunken flea market. So Warehouse is our vintage shop here in Lexington, and that was something that started a while ago. It's kind of come to fruition. Um, but Liz and I had have different stories leading up to how we started. Um, I worked at a vintage shop, and I had always been kind of thrifty and selling even since I was in college and high school. And so um, one day I, I actually had lost a job and I was like, well, what am I going to do now? And I was like, I'm my, you know, I was just decided that I was just going to start trying to sell vintage. And I found this little spot in an old warehouse, literally 300 square feet in this huge old warehouse. You had to like walk through a hallway from like floor to ceiling, like dusty bed frames and dressers. <laughs> People and, like, like, am I in the right yeah. place? Right. <laughs> really and it's like an emporium of vintage. Yeah. It was beautiful. And we did appointment only at that time. So it was like, am I getting murdered or finding <laughs> right. you know, right. really cool jacket? We'll see. But then that that's how Liz and I met at that yes. point. So and, when we met. Uh, yeah, when we met, I was working um, at a retail shop and then they went out of business. So I was like, dude, I don't have a job. And she was like, do this full time with me. And we've never yeah. looked back. And now here we are. Yeah. So it's a really, it's been a great experience. And mm -hmm. we're in a different space now. We're in an act. We're not in a, not yes. as murdery. Know where I have to drop my helps. location. Exactly. Okay. Right. <laughs> not text somebody where you're going to be that way. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the drunken flea market. I know you're in yeah. the second year. Um, second year. Yes. This is going to mm -hmm. be our eighth event. Mm -hmm. The one that's in December tomorrow. Um, our first one was October 2019, we had nine vendors at mm -hmm. Al's Bar. Half of the vendors were outside because we couldn't even fit everyone <laughs> right. inside. That's why it's called the Drunk and Flea Market. <laughs> yes. okay, sure, yeah. We had it at um, a different bar brewery. Every time, single time. So we had it at Mere Twin. We had it a couple times at Rock House. We've had it a couple times at the Burl. Mm -hmm. um, and this time we just needed a big enough indoor space because mm -hmm. we've grown to over 50 vendors. So we have to have a big enough space. And Central Bank Center was like Especially amazing enough to too. Yeah, yeah amazing enough to let us do um our december market so yeah we're very excited that's great so what can people expect at this flea market yeah so um there's going to be everything from like 1950s true vintage we have a girl april rain antiques she has an incredible selection she loves like the 1800s all the way to kind of the 1970s mm -hmm. stuff um, all the way to into the streetwear, 2000 streetwear. We have mid-century furniture, boho furniture. We have an art dealer. Yeah. Um, kind of a little bit of everything, but everything is vintage. So yeah, that's a fun thing. Yeah. There's some of the stuff right there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell us that's, about that. That's, that's some a, stuff from actually from our shop. It's just mm -hmm. kind of one look at the type of style we'll have there. Mm -hmm. um, that coat's fantastic. It's, it is. We it's call our, our Janus Joplin yeah. coat. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> from the I 1960s. Love it. But you know, when we started the Drunken Flea, the big our purpose and reasoning behind it was there there wasn't a vintage only market in Lexington mm -hmm. at that mm -hmm. point and we wanted something specifically curated so it, we could help other people trying to get their business started you know yeah. grow and promote and, and network with each other yeah actually since the first drunken flea three vendors have, have now opened a shop orders. yeah you know, I, shop, i've so. seen the it, it it's like booming now yeah, for lexington it's, really and it's great that you all were like the trailblazers in yeah, that yeah, thank yeah. you <laughs> we worked hard we did and that's the whole goal of it was we wanted like i think this event a third of our vendors have never done a pop up before mm -hmm. they're new to instagram and so that's just kind of the goal we wanted to build this community of vintage in lexington and have people know that like it's not just something you find in california or like that you have mm -hmm. to go on trips for it's something that you can find right here in your home state and in your hometown so yeah. right and yeah. like the um sustainability of it mm -hmm. i know that's really huge, huge in fashion yeah. right yeah, now is. so like how has that been being able to repurpose and recycle it's been well fashion it's the second most wasteful industry Mm -hmm. in the, the world which is crazy and you know just being able to learn the value and in the you know a little bit of the history and how there's fast fashion now and the difference between materials and pricing and telling people that mm -hmm. and, and knowing the quality what they're getting of pieces their money for. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. like 
when you buy, buy a vintage piece from the 60s, it's already lasted until now. Of so it's going to last. Something cool exactly. About knowing you're wearing something that's lasted that long and mm -hmm. will yeah. continue and to last. Yeah, and it's 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 one of a kind. You're not going to walk into a boutique and find 10 of the same thing. Nothing mm -hmm. wrong with that. Right. I love going to boutiques. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just something if you want those unique pieces, they're sustainable, they're not going to landfills, they're going to last you way longer. And they come with a story. Um, yeah. Right. Yeah. Like in a world of fast fashion, it's great to have sustainable yeah. pieces. Yes. But real quick, where can people find you if they want more information? Yeah. Yes, um, our Instagram is warehouse, K-Y-W-E-A-R, like warehouse, clothing. yes, yeah. and, um, then, and then we have an Instagram for the Drunken Flea, it's just mm -hmm. the Drunken Flea. Um, our shop is on National Avenue, it's yes. 941, and if you Google our name, if you Google shop, warehouse, we'll, we're on Google now. So. All right, awesome, <laughs> well thank you so much for being with us, ladies. Yeah, thank, thank you so much you. for having us, we appreciate it. All right.